Hey Toy Addicts, this is Jody. Ugh, do not look at my mess of a shed, but oh, do look at this teeny tiny little Pac-Man lunchbox. It's exactly like the vintage Pac-Man lunchbox. Is that not so cool? It's actually for an American Girl doll, but um, it's, there's like a doll that came out. Her name was Courtney. Like, Bola Buddies, hi Courtney! <laughs> and it, it the doll was like from the 80s and uh, she has so many cool accessories and stuff but I had to get her teeny tiny Pac-Man lunchbox. Anyway that's not what this video is about. This video is a haul video from some sales that I went to like this summer and um, I made videos but then I never edited them together and so it's been like some of the stuff has been like four or five months since I got it. So I got it, I listed it and it sold. And some of this stuff is even like past 90 days sold. So I'm going to um, show you the haul of the cool stuff that I got. And if you're interested in that, I'm also going to show you what it sold for. So thanks for watching. If you hear me talk about different sales in the video. It's just because I'm referencing whatever sale of video that I was going to make and instead got put together in this conglomeration of videos. Okay. <laughs> Thanks for watching guys. And yes, I, it's, um, like a week to Christmas and I still have some Halloween decorations up over there. <laughs> Well, that's a Valentine decoration, so I like my die cuts. <laughs> now I'm making another video from that same sale that I just did of the health and beauty stuff. But this is the toys from that sale. This is a party time Yorkshire, York, Yorkshire, <laughs> Yorkshire Terrier Sweetie Pups in the box. Here is the cool box. This is from... 1989 from Hasbro. He's cute. And we got a jewel hair mermaid Barbie. She was $8. She's from 1995 and these sell pretty well. Of course, these ones sell a little better than her, but take what you can get, right? Here's another Barbie I picked up. This is a Generation Girl Barbie. She's got this pretty dress. I love this dress. And she has a little cell phone. She's got some bottled water and a movie camera and a little movie clapper there. She's in a jean jacket. She's pretty. And look at, there's even some VHS tapes to go into her movie camera. <laughs> She's pretty awesome. Here's the back of her box. So this was pretty cool. This is a nativity pop-up book, but it is by the Metropolitan Museum of Art. So anytime I see Metropolitan Museum of Art on things, I always at least look it up and I usually always end up buying it because the comps are usually awesome. I didn't comp this one, but um, it's this whole like fold out nativity scene. There's like fold outs on the sides. And then this part folds out. And then that part folds out. It's like a whole big deal. <laughs> so it's really cool and it's very well made, which everything that I've ever bought that says Metropolitan Museum of Art is always like really well made and interesting. Um, and so, you know, if you ever see that when you're outsourcing, always look it up because it could do well. It could be something that does well. And most likely someone bought it in the gift shop and paid a fortune for it. <laughs> you pretty much can't go wrong with vintage popples. This one, I believe I paid a dollar for, and it's a little dirty, you can see, but I'll put that in the listing and say, I'll leave the, his cleaning up to you, the expert. That's what I like to put in my listings if things need a little bit of cleaning. This part's clean. 
And then there's birthday party Barbie. She even has some Mylar balloons up there that you can blow up. And a hat and some blowers and a cake. Super fun. And she is from probably the 90s. Most of these things came from the 90s, 1998. Her box is a little smushed, but I think it looks like I can open it so I can probably flatten out and fix that. Another one of the fun and really rare toys that I got at this sale was Little Pretty Polished Paws Kitty. And um, it's a color change magic kitty. So I'm not sure how that works. But probably has something to do with the hair because the hair looks a little discolored. And anytime those toys from the 80s are um, like color change... They tend to discolor, unfortunately, but she's still in her package from 1988. Another very cool toy is Baby Glow Hercules. He's still in his box. He does not glow anymore because he needs batteries, which I would need to take him off of the box to replace. So I guess I'm hoping that he works. He's got this cute little headband and his hair is all curly and cute. It says, try me, squeeze my tummy. But like I said, his batteries don't work anymore, which is too bad. He is from 1996. I just noticed that while they're um, advertising these other toys, they have something blocked out. So something must have been produced or not produced that they originally wanted to produce. And now I just want to tear that sticker off and find out what it was. <laughs> I'm not going to, but I really want to. And some pound purries, purebreds. Uh, it says free collectible pound purry by mail. Rust Calico family. So this is a lot of fun '90s toys at this sale. I've got a couple more Barbies here. I have this ice cream Barbie and this Children's Day Kinder Tags Barbie. So she is, this is actually Greek and it means friendship. I looked it up. <laughs> you can do that on Google Lens now. And um, then this Barbie, she says she's a special edition. I love it when Barbie comes with like things for you. And this actually has a little ice cream cone shaped notepad. Look at her super cute little overalls there and her little ice cream purse. And then on the back, there's like ice cream jokes. <laughs> is funny and they're terrible. <laughs> and this one comes with little bracelets you can cut out and use to make a friendship bracelet for yourself and your friend. But this one I think I'll put up on display here in the Cotton Candy Cottage because... How cute is she, right? She fits with the decor in here. And of course, I've learned about candy containers in the recent past. And so I picked up these three nerds candy containers that are still full. So this is one of my regrets at the sale. Not picking up this guy. I think he's really cute. But um, they had a ton of boxes full of vintage plush that were like small plush like this and I just didn't have the time to go through those boxes and after I was at the sale for like three and a half hours <laughs> I just and it was really hot in there I just had to had to go out and I didn't get to look at very much of the vintage plush but this little guy he's by Dakin He's definitely what I would say late 70s probably. Um, and he's of course a little parrot, toucan, macaw, something like that. And he is pretty cute. And he was $1. And this guy is one of those suction Garfields 
that I guess you suction in your car window, but you wouldn't really see his face the way he's made. But he still has his new tag, and he was again $1. And also by Dakin. This guy I thought was just really too cute not to take. He was a uh, unicorn with rainbow stripes. And he doesn't have a tag, but I'm sure I could Google Lens him and uh, find a comparable little plush here. So this sale also had a bin of dolls, which I grabbed the whole bin, actually. <laughs> um, I got this Barbie here. She's got this uh, pink dress and shoes and boa. I'm not sure which Barbie she is, but I'm sure she's a good one. And here's another Barbie here. She's got some painted on ballerina shoes. So I'll have to do some research to see which Barbies those are. I also grabbed this Charlie's Angels doll. Now she's a Mego doll, so she's a lot smaller than these other dolls, but she is um, in this weird jumpsuit, which is the outfit she actually came in. And then these blue boots. And um, it's probably Sabrina, although they did make a few different dolls for some of the different seasons I believe and then over here we've got a Farrah Fawcett doll now she is a bit taller than Barbie as you can see she's actually in really nice condition this is her original outfit and she's got one of her shoes on but I actually think I might have one of those shoes and then here we've got Six million dollar man, and I believe this is Oscar Goldman. I'll have to double check it. But six million dollar man is in his original outfit and shoes. I want you to take note of these shoes. They're really kind of wonky and poorly made. But I have found so many of these pairs of shoes in with like Ken shoes and just random things. Just even one shoe you can sell for $10 and you can just sell the pair for $20. So if you come across these, they're really soft, rubber, wonky, red and white tennis shoes. They belong to the Million Dollar Man. And I have found the shoes way more than I found the action figure. And then this guy has some really large, much larger than Barbie or Ken kind of loafers. Part of the lot were these two little Kittles booklets. They have like a comic book in them on one side and then on the other side they have the dolls that you can buy. You know, the little advertising booklets that came with Star Wars, Strawberry Shortcake, Barbies, most toys in the 70s and 80s and even 90s had these with them. People usually don't see a lot of value in these. I will list both of these for $25 each um, and they'll sell for pretty close to that probably there are ones that are even more hard to find that get even more money part of the lot were these two little kittles booklets they're so fun they have comics inside and then they also show you all the dolls and stuff that you can get and I did make separate videos on both these where I scanned the whole things you can see the flat scans on my website which is uh, toyatic.com and it's linked down in the description but also I did videos with these with some showing the scans and some fun music so you can check those whole things out on You can check those whole things out on the blog listed down here or on here on YouTube. Another little baggie of dolls that came from this sale were these Dolly Darlings. These are from the 60s. I think they're really cute with their little like side cast eyes. This one right here is actually supposed to be the Flying Nun from the TV show um, played by Sally Field. Unfortunately, these tend to have a problem where their legs pop out of the joints and then don't stay in the joints so it's not that uncommon for these so collectors that are looking for ones that they want 
um, understand that and maybe they know how to fix them. I don't. But look how cute these dolls are. And then it also came with this little dress, which this belongs to Dawn. It's a doll by Topper. Which I believe I got some Dawn dolls at this sale as well. So, or if not, um, Dawn is like, a, she's about the same size as these dolls, about six inches, five inches tall. And um, she's sort of a Barbie-like fashion doll, but just tiny. Okay guys, so I got such cool stuff at this sale. I think this is the last lot here. Um, I got this Rock Flowers doll still in her package. She's a little bit, you can see she's a little bit smaller than Barbie. She's also made by Mattel. This is more like a Dawn size doll. I have these vintage highlighters. People love their vintage office supplies, so I thought someone might be interested in that. Some Barbie booklets, you know how I feel about those. And um, a bunch of little Kittle dolls for like a dollar each. And these are the original from the 60s. And these sell from $40, can be $40 and even up each. And then this little scooter right here is a Honda scooter from uh, that last section, the Heidi dolls that comes with that. Although I noticed that the um, handlebars are missing. And then this is a 20 mule team, like a model that you put together that was a mail away item from the 20 mule team borax laundry detergent. So some really cool stuff. Thanks for watching guys. Make sure to comment down below if you ever had any of this stuff or if you've ever found good lots of these things at garage sales. And like the video, of course, and subscribe if you're not subscribed because I have lots of other fun videos. And if you want to support this channel in any way, you can look down in the description. You can go to my eBay store and buy something. You can go click on my eBay link and buy something on any eBay store and that will um, give me a few affiliate cents or um, you can buy me a cupcake. Thanks for watching guys. See you next time. Bye.